bold, huge and imposing. A warm welcome to Estadio do Morumbi here in Sao Paulo. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. It is semi-final day, a time for the strong of will and character. Quick look at the lineups. And we're underway. James Rodriguez. Danilo. Goes wide. James Rodriguez. Oh, that's neat. Danilo. Just making a foray down the right. Lovely feet. Bell. He'll have a dip! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, there's no messing about with this fella, is there? Just went straight down the middle. If only he could have applied the finish with the same conviction. Rong Hao. And it's James Rodriguez. Bale. Oh, glorious footwork. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Pumps it forwards. Now the pass. There's no flag. Looks to slip it through. A chance! Terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. Yeah, and that was all about the through ball. Great control, and the weight was perfect. James Rodriguez. Danilo. Tries a through ball. Benzema. Jackson Martinez passes it through. Shot a goal! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. I just really like the way they've started with such intensity, Peter. And he's made certain that won't get through. And that's put paid to a promising move. Long and high towards the flank. Gets it back. Goes for goal! Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and he had to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. Well, to have had a few attempts already in this game augurs well for what's to come. It's been a very bright start from them. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right, but... And he's found the net! First blood drawn! What about that, Jim Beglin? Benzema is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. <laughs> Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. It's a loose ball. Looks like a good ball through. Goes for a lob. To, to outwit the keeper, but a shade off target. And it's a real shame because I thought he was right in choosing the, the cheeky little lob. Maybe next time.
Paulinho. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Chip through. Can he find a finish now? It's anyone's ball. Isco. That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Sergio Ramos boots it upfield. And it's Isco. So what now? It's come loose. That's the throw. It's Benzema. Chance! James Rodriguez. Oh, he's broken through. He's done very well to get to that. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter, and I think his instincts were... Well, they were just razor sharp. It's one! Who's ball? Who's going to get there? No mistake! And with that goal comes comfort! It's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Sets the throw, that's well read. Plays it out to the wing. Bale. With the ball through. Nacho with the cross. And he's there to hoof it away. Rong Hao gets it back. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And the defence can get it clear. Forward it goes. Marcelo. James Rodriguez. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Out to the left it goes. Now here's the through ball. And play for a throw. Half time in the semi final. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? A half of massive entertainment and excitement. A two-goal margin, yes, 
but all things still possible. has crossed the line and it's a throw Isco cuts into some space passes it through has a hit it's loose who's getting there Alicia Ramos, Isco, Marcelo. Paulinho, aim forward. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Looks like a good ball through. Hits one! Oh, surely that deserved better. I think there's always that danger that the defence can get exploited in that way. That must have served as a real wake-up call to them. Sergio Ramos. Isco. Marcelo. Isco. Marcelo. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace, so they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Now it's Bale. And out to safety. Did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Jackson Martinez. And it's Jackson Martinez. Looks to thread it through. Sergio Ramos cuts it out. Tried to play it through. The idea was good though, Peter, and I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. Benzema is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, his instinct and the timing of his runs have proven fruitful, but they have to give him a harder time like that. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Modric. Marcelo. He's gone for it! Oh, great save, real class. Keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. <laughs> Keeper's ball. Jackson Martinez. Seems now to be all about wit. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. James Rodriguez aimed long and direct. Sprint it wide. Morata looking to get on the end of this. Looking for a corner. Wrong how knocks it away. Tries a long pass towards the front. Deftly done. Dinked in. It's in! 
London. He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't... Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Modric. Marcelo. He's on a run down the left wing. James Rodriguez. Loose ball. Who's going to get there? And it's Marcelo. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Tries a through ball. Danilo knocks it towards the front. Morata did well to pick out Morata, but he was just unable to find a shot. Now the pass. It's gone out for a throw in. That'll be a throw. Almost nothing left on the clock here. They have one foot in the final. Thrust towards the front line. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Away from immediate danger. Ball is over the line. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Jackson Martinez looks to dink one in. Marcelo. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Nacho. Good idea, just poorly executed. He's gone for it! He's got away with one there. Well, I think you can only praise that sort of alertness and the way he almost knew what was going to happen, and he got there really early. That was top stuff for me. For his pull play back and has booked him for the original offence. Guangzhou have a sub ready to come on. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Lovely bit of skill. It's a long forward pass. Brings it forward. James Rodriguez. And that's it. They have made it and they've deserved to make it. A fabulous cup run has gone all the way to the final day. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Look, you often need a, a little slice of luck to get through a, a hard-fought semi-final, and they took advantage of whatever came their way. But what really impresses me now is that they're really growing as a team. 